Good morning. It is the morning of the plant fair. So it's quite early, sun is just rising. Um, it's a bit of a drive, so it's like an hour out of Sydney, but I'm really excited. I'm gonna take you along. So I'm getting there a little bit early. The plant fair starts at eight. I'm getting there at seven, so hopefully I get to have a little sneak peek at all the sellers and what they've got in stock before people come and buy it all. Um, and then obviously I wanna take you through the actual fair as well. I'm mainly there to support AJ today. So AJ Growing Grounds got a stall there today and I wanna be there for my friend and wanna support her and hopefully it's gonna be a great success. Um, yeah, and I suppose I'll probably meet a bunch of you guys as well. Well, some of you have already messaged me on Instagram that they're coming, so I'll be, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I can get a bit nervous meeting new people, I don't know, and there's going to be a lot of people there, I feel like. Um, so, like, overall, I don't really enjoy large crowds of people, but I feel like, you know, once I get to meet everybody, uh, you know, I think I'll be really excited and, um, yeah, but a bit nervous, but also really excited for today. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. Also, I have no idea... I have no like, game plan when it comes to filming. I've only been to that fair once last year and I was there on a Sunday, quite late in the afternoon, so kind of as it, as it was just wrapping up. Um, today I'm going Saturday morning, so just when it starts. So I think it will be really different. I suppose Saturday is the busy day um, and I'll try to take you along as much as I can. Alrighty, we made it to the entrance. Um, oh, I don't think we need to go here. Let's go this way. Is this the entrance? No, it is not the entrance either, this way. Sorry, I don't know where the entrance is. Sorry, we're gonna skip the queue. <laughs> now we're helping AJ set up a little bit. Um, but oh my god, I can't believe there's so many people already lined up. It's still an hour until it actually opens. And there's heaps of people waiting in the cold. Ooh, we made it inside. I feel very VIP, everybody else is still lining up. Oh my god, look at it, it's going to be so nice. Oh, I love the fog. It makes everything a little mysterious. Oh, ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, this is going to be a nice day. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, how do I even get in there? Hello. Hello. How are we? Good. I'm sorry. I'm stressing. You look stressed. Calm down. Everything will be fine. Can I do anything or? That's right. Um. That's right. I'll leave you to her. <laughs> That's okay. All good. Um. Alrighty, we just arrived. Let me show you the stall. AJ's still setting up, but I'm just going to show it to you anyway. So, over here, we've got all the goodies. So, all of the stuff to make aeroid mix in nice, convenient carry bags. How cute are those? Okay, we've got some begonias, peperomias. Oh my god, I'm cold. <laughs> it's quite cold here. Oh, look at these, these are cool. Then over here we've got all the GT, the focus range, and then Root Zone. So Root Zone is being launched in New South Wales officially today by AJ. So you weren't able to get your hands on earlier. Happy days. Some air mix. All right, then here we have the Anthuriums. Ooh, these ones are cool. Probably radicans, looks like radicans. The variegated peperomias. So many of you were really loving those based on my last video. Oxalis, more anthuriums. Yuppies. Uh, Paraiso Verde. Ghosts. Oh, look at that. Now I'm getting into the Oh, uh, into the climbers. <gasps> that's, oh, that's Tim. 
that's Grow Vertical. So that's that's Tim from Grow Vertical. Hello, Tim. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh my God, it looks great. Yeah, so that's the Grow Vertical stand. Tim has done amazing. And heaps more plants here. All right. The girls are still setting up. Look how beautiful and like mysterious that looks with the fog. I love it. Oh, that's there's Alex here. Hi, Alex. <laughs> how are we? Good. Thank you. Hugs. Oh, I'm cold. Hello. What's happening? I hope it's warming up. There's yeah, heaps of people lining up. So many plants. I'm already overwhelmed. <laughs> this is only the second store. I don't even know where to stop, like where to stop and show you something. Wow, these are that one is really nice. Oh, actually. Oh no, hang on. This one, that is sexy. Oh, I'm just such a sucker for vocosums. Look how beautiful these are. Very, very good size. Wow. Good on Alex. So that's Alex from More Plants. I'll link everybody's Instagram where I can. All right, then we've got some orchids. Last year when I came to the fair, I only bought one orchid and it did not survive. <laughs> I think it was this one, like very similar to this one. I love orchids. Well, like I like the look of them, but I'm, I haven't really grown them before, so. Alrighty. Tinoni orchids. Beautiful. More orchids over here. Oh my god, I'm so overwhelmed. Guys, I can definitely not put names on all of these, uh, for all of these plants. I'm just gonna show everything to you so you can enjoy it. Wow. Alright, this is Fongping Orchids. Beautiful. And some really nice jewel orchids as well. Never really gotten into jewel orchids, but maybe I should start. All right, and here we've got Tilly's air plants. This one here. Wow, look at this. Oh my God, I love this. Maybe I need to get into air plants too. <laughs> oh, my one goal today is actually to find a carnivorous plant. I want to have a carnivorous plant, but I want a pitcher plant. This one, I want this one. Yes, I want this one. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I don't have any carnivorous plants, so I think it's time to get into it. So I need a smaller yard. one. Huh? You've got a backyard now, so you can... <laughs> yes, I know! <laughs> I want... Uh, I think I want one of those later. Yeah. Definitely need to take one home with me. <laughs> oh! Look at the obvious. So, is, I hope it's okay if I film a bit. Oh, yeah? yeah? <laughs> that is beautiful. And look at the ones in the back. Nice. nice so. All right. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Planska. Hello. How are you? Thank you. Wow. Well, that is gorgeous. Wow. So, Planska is known for his Anthuriums and Anthurium hybrids. And I mean, that looks stunning. Look at all of these. Wow. And they all look so healthy, so pretty. Look at these. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful queen. Wow. This one's super pretty. Larry. So I think the larger, not all of them are for sale, but... Beautiful. All right, we'll move on. They're busy. We'll say hello later. More aeroids. Look at that. Wow, there's so many aeroids. I mean, last year, I came really late. I came really late last year. Wow. 
Is that Whipple Way? Or Paraiso? Whipple Way, yes! Um, last year when I came, it was late on a Sunday, so... But I still don't think there were that many aeroids last year. Like, definitely you can see the increase in aeroid sellers over here. Oh, I love this one, the hair with the hair, the ficus. Um, heaps more aeroid sellers over here, which makes me really happy. Right. Look at those. Oh, the variegated ones. Sorry, I cannot put names on all of these. Um, there's just way too many variegated monsteras. So here we've got queens, queen plants and daddy noids. I'll link everybody's Instagram. Hello. Beautiful. Oh, definitely, if you're into anthuriums, this is the place to be. Wow, look at so many anthuriums everywhere. So this is kind of like this undercover section. It seems to be just full of aeroids. So let's venture out a little bit. All right, lotuses, is that lotuses? Uh, water lilies. Water lilies, so. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, and there we got some carnivorous plants as well. Awesome. Oh. So um, the stall holder was just explaining that the flowers open at night and then they close in the morning when the sun comes up, uh, but the lifespan is only about five days. That's nice to know. Wallace Creek Water Garden. I think I might have already lost my pass. <laughs> I know it's here. All right, and this one is the lotus. I only know lotus as lotus chips. <laughs> well, this, this is nice, you know. If AJ gets her way and I end up having that pond that she wants me to build, then um, I'll get a lotus. All right, we've got Mother Earth Nursery, and I don't know if the I don't know if the um, gimbal is doing a good job at stabilizing. It's so cold, I'm shaking a bit. All right, it's so foggy and rainy, but it's kind of nice. It's a bit mysterious. Yeah, what I had said was, do not come past here. So. All right, some natives. Beautiful. <laughs> Hello. Lots of beautiful plants. So many plants. It's a bit overwhelming at this stage. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, I hope it's doing okay. Yeah. yeah. You didn't More come natives. Over here we've got dragon fruits. Look at that, it's like a bazaar. It's like, I love that. And they're all just cuts and you can just take them home, pop them in water, propagate them. All right, some for my succulent lovers. That looks stunning with the, with the little bit of mist on it. Oh, were they? Oh, here we go, more, more picture in front. I need one of those. I cannot leave without one of those. Yeah. Oh, I want this one. This one is cute. Look at this. Wow, this one's cute. So I think they have different pictures. Oh, and Heliconius. I really want Heliconius for my garden. Is that Heliconius? Yes. Oh my God, I'm getting so good. Only 35 bucks. I need one for my garden. But I don't know if we can take this one home. They're already quite large. There you go, these ones are smaller. I just want a heliconia for their flowers. I think that looks so nice. And I think they would do great in my garden. This is the place to come back to for sure. <laughs> we love this one. Oh, look at this display. Okay, let me do a little. got Succulents Australia. Awesome. And I'll link 
them as well if I can find them. All right, sorry, little little pee pee break. <laughs> so the lineup is getting really long. Oh, look at this one. Definitely in spring, I want to start getting some natives in my garden. I have so many plants for my garden, it's not even that big, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm very inspired by this place so far. So it's really awesome to be able to have a little look at all of the stalls while they're still setting up and before there's so many people coming. I reckon people will throw themselves at, <laughs> at some of these plants. So it's really nice to get like a little little exclusive behind the scenes look and I'm loving this light with the light rain right now. So I think that was like the first half then we've seen the aeroid half so let's go to the other side because there's more. Let's go quickly let's walk past growing ground so let's just have a look how AJ's going. Oh Andy's rare plants let's have a look at this. Wow look at this they look super alien. These are super cool as well, the little spirals. Oh, and we have to have a look at those. Wow, look at those. Stapelia gigantea. Look at them. Wow, that's super cool. And, and they're only 30 bucks. Like, I have no idea about cacti, but that, that sounds like a steal to me. Oh, and they come in different colors with different fur. Look at the morning fog kind of just sitting down on them. That is so cool. Oh damn, that would have been a bathroom right there. <laughs> we went all the way. There we go. Oh, look at this. Amorphophallus. That's the plant that grows like this ginormous, like the biggest flower in the world, I think. And hang on, are those the cursiva? Neglecta. Um, Ruffle of four, neglecta. This one looks like a really nice ficus. Ficus damaro damaropsis. They have that at the botanical gardens too. I'm really inspired by the botanical gardens for my, for my own garden. Uh, because what grows there should surely grow in my garden too. Mm -hmm. I have never seen it. I have never seen AJ so stressed. She's usually always so relaxed and easygoing, but she seems a little stressed right now. So I'll leave her alone for a minute and then I'll provide her with emotional support. Picture yes! Carnivorous Plant Society, that sounds about right. That's where I need to be. So where's, where's this wife? He's up oh, 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 oh. I like these ones, the baby ones. That looks super cute. Wow, and the prices are super reasonable as well, so I'll definitely come here later. I'll let the initial rush go through first and then I'll pick up whatever nobody else wanted. I don't care. Hang on. Oh wait, this is what turmeric looks like. Look at it. It's like philodendron onestii juvenile form. <laughs> Look at this. Only 50 bucks. That is such a steal. Oh, I feel tempted to pick it up because I want one indoors and one outdoors. If it doesn't sell by like 12, we're taking it. <laughs> okay. That is stunning. 50 bucks. Oh my God. I don't know. It might like, obviously if you're not from Australia, you might not know, but like two years ago, or last, last year was reasonable, but two years ago, three years ago, when I first got into the hobby, plant prices were outrageous. Like, for 50 bucks you wouldn't even get a cutting, like not, not, no roots, just a fresh cutting that's most likely going to die. That would set you back 50 bucks. Another smaller one also 50 bucks, so pretty, really nice. And they're not super easy to grow either, so they're really well looked after. Look at that. Oh, so many plants. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed, I need to, oh, hang on, let's go, there, there's the sun, we, we, we like the sun. Ah, uh, look at those, that would make a nice display in the garden, right, like all these different colours, like a few ground dwellers, ground dwellers, oh my god, I can't talk today, which is really convenient, given we're filming a full day video. <laughs> um, 
Yes, it's nice. I love being interested in so many different plants nowadays. Like, obviously, I love my aeroids, and I know a lot about aeroids, and not really don't know that much about anything else, really. But that's part of the hobby, learning something new. Huh? Wow, super pretty. We need to come back here as well. <laughs> All right, another section we haven't explored yet. Some succulents. We've got a jar of life. Oh, look at those. And the plants, lots of air plants, bromeliads, jungle vibe, orchid place, lots of orchids. Hello, hello, for YouTube, yes. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't even see the whole back wall of orchids over there. Look at this. So many. Wow. This one's fragrant. So beautiful. And I smell. It's called Sensual Sting. Oh my god, that looks so crazy. So like cute. What are you into? Alright, got Kev's quirky creations. Succulents. Some aeroids here too. Fertilizer. Oh, looks like a cacti. <laughs> Wollamy pines. They're like an ancient plant. One of the world's oldest and rarest plants dating back to the time of the dinosaurs. And that's pretty much what it looks like. Welcome to Australia. Alrighty, close to opening time. I'm getting a little excited, a little nervous. I hope, ooh, I hope everything goes well. Alright, let's check in with AJ and the crew to see. Ah, oh, look, I hear some laughter. That sounds good. And there's some sun coming in. Hello. AJ, hold my hand. Deep breaths. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> We've got this. Okay, are you, gonna, are you gonna hang out here? Yes, I'm gonna be okay, here now. You wanna hang out behind here or in front? Whatever you want me to do. It looks awesome, honestly. You've done so well. Oh, it looks amazing. I will position myself near the climbing plants. That's what I feel most comfortable with. And in direct view of. Ooh, hang on, I need to. Hang on. <laughs> Look at it. Autumn Queen. It's the same that AJ had. Also on the Grow Vertical. Oh, and Tim is... Uh, Tim is now... Um, the distributor of tree fern fiber. So this is New Zealand tree fern fiber and it's like a new medium that I've seen a lot of people use in their Grow Vertical poles and it seems to be really amazing. Similar to moss when it comes to water retention, but... Uh, Better, better aeration, so I definitely need to try that eventually. Good, how are you going? It looks fantastic. It looks really good, I love that little hanging setup over there. I think, is this just a really mature Brazil? Yeah, look at that, that's just a Brazil, mature. Nice. Look at the nice Milanos. AJ must be, sorry, I'm sneaking in behind. AJ must be jealous. AJ, it's her favorite, the Milanos. Look at the size of that. And you, you just started using tree fern fiber. You mix it with bark, a yeah, bit of both? I mix it with, um, with bark for my supports and yeah. with bark and perlite for the product for the Cod. mix. Oh, easy. So I really need simple. to start getting my hands on some, yeah. I use the, the larger bark with the smaller tree fern, just kind of helps lock yeah. it in and you don't get as much falling through. Yeah. So, and I feel it helps it as well a lot. Like the bark will, if you give it a good soak, the bark will hold water for ages. Yeah, easy. The tree, like I, I have used pure tree fern and it does hold it. Um, and it's, it's good as well. I think it just goes. Alrighty, the girls are ready. I cannot believe the amount of plants just in this little parameter over here. That's insane.
Alrighty, the fierce in full swing. Look at Miss AJ, customer service queen, yes. God, look at her. Cannot wipe that smile off her face. Wow, it is so easy. I could watch AJ all day. So, I just had this super lovely couple come up to me and they watched all of my videos and they watched my IKEA cabinet tour and she asked her husband to model her cabinet exactly after mine but they came up with a much better solution for the little shade cover. You know how I just have like a cable, like a, like a cloth hook, no, what's it called? Coat hanger, a coat hanger with shade cloth. He actually built a frame for me and brought it here. And he was like, I, I, don't, I want to give it to you, but I don't want to, like, uh, what was it? I don't want to step on your toes and make it, like, make it up like I can build something nicer than you. And I was like, I hope you can build something nicer than me. It's a coat hanger with a shade cloth on it. So he gave this to me. So I'm sure you guys are watching right now. If you're the one who gave this to me, uh, thank you. And I'll pop it in my IKEA cabinet and I'll, I'll show you. Everybody's been asking me what I bought and I haven't <laughs> bought anything yet, so I feel bad. So let's buy something. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a picture plant, picture, picture plant, and I need it to be in a small pot. That's the goal. Like this, for example. I want to go back to that first place that we saw earlier this morning because they had the one that I really wanted. Not that I know anything about these plants, but... Ooh! More! Okay, let's go back to the other store. Well, it's always nice to see how much variety there really is in the plant world or like, you know, so many people like when I tell people I'm a plant person, it's like I'm actually a very specific plant person. I'm pretty much an aeroid person. Um, but there's so many different ways of enjoying plants, right? And integrating plants into your, your home and your garden. Wow, it's sunny over here. It's nice. Okay. Get better, I still have my picture plant. I don't even pronounce it right. I don't even think that's what they're called. I don't remember which one I wanted earlier. Definitely not into the high end. Sorry. So if that's $40, that's selling for probably $80. Plus. This one here, the money. That's all. Can't find the one I wanted. Let's keep looking for my picture plant then. Hello. I recognize you. <laughs> how are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> Good. Thank you. Oh my God, you've got such a cute dog. Thank you. Oh my God, another gorgeous dog. Hello, gorgeous dog. Hello. Oh, aren't you gorgeous? Hello. Are you cutie? Hello. Oh, two of you. Hello. Oh my god, you're so friendly and cute. Hello. <laughs> Hello, you too. Yes. Hello. 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 Oh. 
Oh, look at the ears. Oh my God, aren't you the cutest? All right, I think I found what I'm after. I'm gonna take this one home with me. I like it. Let's go. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Just this Can one, please. Fun, All right. Sorry, I had to put my phone down because I had to pay with it, but I found my own picture plant. Nepenthes, 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 Rocco. Very happy, finally bought something. I couldn't leave this place without anything. Oh gosh. We did Hello. it. Hello. <laughs> we did it. We did it. All right, it's what almost. What a day. Almost end of day one. I mean, you have another day to go. I have another day to go, and there's still going to be some really, really cool stuff coming. So. So tell me, what's your feedback? What's your vibe? Did you enjoy it? Did everything go oh, according to plan? It was amazing. Everyone was, was so nice. It was. Everyone was so lovely. It was such a crazy day, and I'm super. I'm just. I can't wait for next year, actually. <laughs> really? I mean, I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. I'm catch up until sleep. It's gonna take me a whole year, yes. but then when we get there next year, yeah, I'm stoked, man. It was honestly heads up to you. It was so organized. You have amazing helpers. It wasn't me. It was these guys. Yeah, you have amazing helpers. It was they all were of these relentless. guys. Relentless. Like I am so <laughs> tired, and those girls have been going the second day already, much earlier than me. Like I could, I could never. So it was crazy. Good right? on you guys. Yeah. So organized. And your stand, like I roamed around a little bit, your stand was definitely the busiest all day long. And I got to meet a lot of people as well. Everybody was so nice. And it was really nice to see like su such a diverse crowd as well. Oh yeah. People of all ages. All and ages. everybody was like, oh my God, you're an AJ on YouTube. Like you're the best. <laughs> and it's like, honestly, people that yeah. I would have never envisioned to watch our content. Like they did. Like, that was really nice to see like how many people are connected through plants after With all. Essays. And it doesn't matter what age, race, gender, sexuality yeah, and so, so on. Nice. It's like really diverse and, and inclusive. And everyone keeps saying, oh, we see, we see you on your YouTube. And I feel like maybe they think they that think it's that our YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> oh, you're dreaming, girl. You're dreaming. <laughs> like, you know, AJ has her own YouTube that she conti continuously not uploads to. So never I think time, this is the this is the official petition for AJ to start oh, uploading no. videos. Leave a comment down below if you want AJ to give you videos because oh, no. I want to see AJ's videos. We, it, it's happening. So, It'll happen soon. It's and after fun. the fair, right? Yeah, after the yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Maybe. <laughs> it will happen. It'll happen. It will happen. It'll happen. And I'm happy day. to lend you a little help yeah. with like editing, help you out, you know, get you sorted. Make sure you keep this part of the clip just for, <laughs> like, for evidence. Damn. <laughs> anyway. I think I'll go home. If that's okay with you. Okay. You have so much more to Are do. Are you coming anyway. tomorrow? No, I'm not coming tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow I'm editing this video so you can see it on Tuesday. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> so that's that's a good that's excuse. that's probably also five six hours worth of work. I'll so see it. I'll do that. One sec. Plane. I know. Dog. <laughs> Did you notice there was no planes here? We're no, so far no away. Planes. Even the planes don't want to fly plane. over here. I was waiting for it every time. I'd be like, plane. It doesn't happen. Plane. Alrighty, this is what I picked up. I got my pitcher plant. Very happy with that. And I've got this philodendron camp, campy, campy, campy. I think people know it as Lynette very shakeable it's already quite mature right like i usually like to buy small plants but tim from go vertical insisted on me getting this so can't say no i also picked up this it's called philodendron vernery i'm definitely mispronouncing that but Werner. Werner is such a german name <laughs> so definitely one of my my fellow germans has discovered this one um Tim wants me to put it on a grow vertical pole and see how big I can grow it. Well, I think that was a very successful day. I had a good time. I chatted to a lot of people. I said a lot. I talked a lot, for sure. I met so many nice people, as I mentioned before. It was nice spending a little bit more time with Tim from Grow Vertical as well. Met him a few times before, but never like properly spoken to him or had enough time to really have a look at his plants. He is amazing, such a knowledgeable grower. I'll link, well, you guys all know Grow Vertical, but I'll link his private Instagram as well, where he shows off his collection. Definitely on my bucket list is to actually go to his place. He's just in the Blue Mountains 
and get a tour of his greenhouses because they are next level like he has perfected the vertical growing game so we got to check him out one day yeah apart from that it was really nice to meet everybody it was nice to meet the queensland peoples so Paz and peaches and wazim it was nice to meet these people that you know from from instagram for years finally meeting them in real life seeing them spending some time with them but now i'm tired and i need to go home i need to feed my baby and then i think we deserve a beer so i reckon i'll wrap it up i hope you had a good time and i'll see you next week bye